Fuel up the Warthog and grab a battle rifle because Showtime has a Halo TV series in the works. Overwatch debuts a brand new adorable character. GTA Online is headed for a night at the Roxbury. And finally, Shaq Fu gets presidential. All of this and much, much more for this week's episode of The Nerf Report. Are you listening? Damn. Welcome to the Nerf Report. My name is Bryant Chappelle. I am the host for this week's episode. And before we go any further, I would like to extend a special shout out to everyone at The Know and Rooster Teeth for inviting me out this week and allowing me to guest host on their show. If you haven't checked it out yet, please head on over to The Know and watch the video after this one or stop what you're doing and watch it now. If it's your first time here, welcome. The show is pretty simple. We take all the week's gaming geek and nerd news, nerf it down into one episode once a week for you, the audience. If you think that sounds awesome, make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and maybe share it with your friends. And now that housekeeping is completely out of the way, let's get into this week's news. 17 years since the release of the original Halo game, and we are finally getting a Halo TV show. After 10 games, 77 million copies sold worldwide and $5 billion in sales. This week, it was announced that Showtime has ordered 10 episodes of a Halo television series that will start filming in early 2019. The series is being produced and written by Kyle Keelan, who has previously worked on projects like The Beaver and Awake. Rise of the Planet of the Apes' Rupert Wyatt will be directing multiple episodes and will also be serving as an executive producer on the series. Now, for those of you keeping track at home, the original announcement for the Halo television series took place on May of 2013, alongside the announcement of the Xbox One. However, the announcement this week seems to solidify the fact that we're actually getting this show. One eternity later. Showtime's adaptation of Halo joins the recent renaissance in television, with networks like HBO producing Game of Thrones and Westworld, and Amazon producing a Lord of the Rings television series. The Halo series is a highly anticipated grab for Showtime. Halo is currently being produced in association with 343 Industries, Microsoft, and Amblin Television. But at the end of the day, I can't complain, because at least the show is being made. I mean, who could forget back in 2005 when we all heard the announcement that we were getting a Halo movie and it was going to be produced by Peter Jackson and directed by Neil Blomkamp. And we were all like, yay, only to have our hearts ripped out of our chest and the movie get canceled and turned into District 9. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, please, for the love of God, Showtime, do not ruin this. But if you do, at least turn it into a District 9 TV series because... Honestly, I, I wouldn't complain about it. Rockstar's Red Dead Redemption 2 is less than four months away. Real quick question, have you pre-ordered it? Or no, even better question, have you taken work off? Because that game is probably going to consume way too much of your time. But if you're concerned that Grand Theft Auto might become yesterday's news, don't worry. Because Rockstar has announced a ton of content coming to Grand Theft Auto Online. This week, Rockstar announced a brand new update for Grand Theft Auto Online coming this July. The people of Los Santos will have access to nightclubs. Nightclubs are the perfect cover for any other operation you might have going. So get in on the ground level and become a business partner to open up a brand new establishment and help the DJs make their shows the best ever. Run your nightclub business from setup, design, staffing, and promotion. The more popular the club, the faster your wall safe will fill up. The update will also feature music from Solomon, The Tale of Us, Dixon, and The Black Madonna. And as a fan of Grand Theft Auto Online, I think that this is a great idea. I think this fits perfectly into the world of streaming. Like, what better way to connect to your audience than inviting them to your own nightclub? Allow your entire viewers on Twitch and YouTube to come in-game and party with you in your club. I think that sounds fantastic, and I cannot wait to see the creativity that comes from this. I mean, think about it. We're going to see things like... 
Bump Nerf! If you're tired of the same old boring vanilla unicorn experience, come on down to Club Nerf for the adventure of a lifetime. Club Nerf. Free drinks before 10. The nightclub update will also give gamers what they love most, free money. From now until July 2nd, any player who signs into GTA Online will earn $300,000 along with bonus cash each week ranging from $100,000 to $350,000. And I know there's some people out there who are like, man, that's a lot of money, but in Grand Theft Auto, inflation is horrible. Like, I think one US dollar equals 70,000 Grand Theft Auto Online dollars. I mean, I once spent 900,000 Grand Theft Auto Online dollars for a vehicle. Don't judge me, okay? I see you writing in the comment section, I'm gonna just spend $900,000, okay? I was in a weird spot in my life. I'm not proud of it, all right? Things have changed. I don't do it anymore. Now I just spend money on keys for stupid crates and PUBG. In other gaming news, Overwatch has announced its latest hero to join the already stacked roster of playable characters. Wrecking Ball is a hamster who pilots a giant mechanized hamster ball with guns. Wrecking Ball marks the 28th hero to join Overwatch and as a tank class will feature a shield ability, a grappling claw, ground and pound capabilities, an ultimate ability called Minefield, and the fact that he's like 100% adorable means nobody's gonna want to kill him. He's so fluffy, I'm gonna die! Wrecking Ball's real name is Hammond because he's a hamster and his lore is as equally adorable as he is. On the Horizon Lunar Colony where we met this guy, Hammond developed problem solving skills and had a knack for escaping out of his cage. During the fall of the colony, Hammond built a makeshift capsule and hitched a ride to the bottom of Winston's craft. Upon landing on the outskirts of Junkertown, Hammond modified his escape pod to become the champion known as Wrecking Ball. And if you want to play as Wrecking Ball, you don't have to wait too long because Wrecking Ball is currently available on the Overwatch public test regions. Just when you thought a fighting video game about a seven foot tall basketball player by the name of Shaquille O'Neal couldn't get any better, former president of the United States, Barack Obama joins Shaq Fu as a playable character in the new free DLC, Barack Fu, The Adventures of Dirty Barry. The free expansion is available for everyone who owns the physical retail version of the game. The expansion features Barack Obama, and you'll battle fashionistas, politicians, robots, clones, hackers, and rappers. Obama can call a Peace Prize drone strike at any moment, and you can string together power moves like the Barack and Rolla, or the South Side Smash. You know, yeah, just gonna, just gonna get this out of the way. Here, um, just, just take it off. I, I, I absolutely need this game. And next up this week, we have... That noise, of course, signifies that we are running out of time and coming close to the end of the show. So, in order to cover the rest of the week's news, we must initiate Nerfed in 60 Seconds. The rules of the game are simple. Every single week we have so much news to talk about and so little time to do it. So we take all the week's remaining news, put 60 seconds on the clock, and try to cover it as fast as humanly possible without running out of breath, passing out, or dying! Why doesn't he just do the entire show in 60 seconds and save us all some time from his bad jokes? First off, rude. Secondly, I don't know where you are. I don't know where you're from. Okay, but I'm an individual with a unique set of skills. And I will find you. And I will make you laugh. And now that I've scared off half of the audience, let's put 60 seconds on the clock. And go. Telltale Games has announced that following the final season of The Walking Dead, all future games will be releasing on a brand new engine. The horror film The Purge is getting a television series. Crash Bandicoot's Insane Trilogy is now out for all platforms. Nintendo Labo works with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. PUBG Corp has officially dropped its lawsuit against Fortnite and Epic Games. State of Decay 2 is now at 3 million players on the Xbox One, where H1Z1's Battle Royale beta for the PlayStation 4 currently has 10 million players. Destiny 2's Crucible is about to go back to 6v6, and thanks to the Shacks, because that's happening on July 17th. Mario Tennis Aces is getting three new players this fall. Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery now allows wizards to have pets. 
QuakeCon registrations are now live. And finally, Games Done Quick, uh, they've been raising money for charity this entire week. As of recording this video, they have raised $1 million for Doctors Without Borders. So uh, thank you to everyone at Games Done Quick. Uh, thank you to everyone who has donated. You have done a fantastic job. That is it for this week's episode of the Nerf Report, and that is it for Nerfed in 60 Seconds. So if you like what you saw, please make sure to hit that like button. If you're new here and haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. And of course, maybe just, you know, share it with your friends. As always, my name is Brian Chappelle. You are you, and this has been the Nerf Report. Thanks for watching.